Have you seen the shoes we're all wearing? You want to see a war on women, you go up and down those stairs a few dozen times. I'm so thankful there are so many student leaders making a difference on our college campuses. We're so blessed. We're also so blessed to have so many different representatives of different denominations because we all follow the same God and the same Jesus Christ. Our next speaker, Gary Wagner, is the pastor of the Reformed Heritage Church in Los Gatos. But like many on this stage today, he doesn't limit his message just to the walls of his church. He is also the host of the Abounding Grace radio show, weekdays on KFAX. Please join me in welcoming Gary Wagner. Thank you very much, Mary Beth. Isn't she doing a wonderful job? Yeah. 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 Brothers and sisters, we have but one King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and that is Jesus Christ. Yeah. It is not the state. Yeah. In Romans 13, God tells us that the state has only two responsibilities, to punish evildoers, and to praise and protect those who do right, those who submit to, the, to live according to the ordinances of Almighty God. And as long as the state limits itself to these two responsibilities, we are called by God to pay allegiance to it. But if the state tries to usurp authority from God and become our savior, we are to pay allegiance to a higher authority the Lord Jesus Christ, and refuse to submit to the state no matter the consequences to ourselves. Yes, yeah. just, just as you and I are to obey the law of God, so is the state, and we are responsible to see that it does. Nowhere in God's inerrant word or in the U.S. Constitution has the state been given any authority to mandate in areas of health education, welfare, environmental protection, regulation of banking, land zoning, the ridiculous idea of the use of steroids in sports, providing abortions or contraceptives or gun control. But you say, Gary, where would we be without the IRS and HUD and FEMA and the EPA and the FDA and the Department of Education and the ATF and the Patriot Act and the National Defense Act and so-called free trade agreements like NAFTA and GATT, etc., etc. Brothers and sisters, we would be in a free country where we wouldn't have to be concerned with the state now trying to worm its way into the church. The Lord Jesus Christ did not save you and I so that we could retreat behind the doors of our churches and feel safe and sound. Jesus Christ won the victory over Satan and sin on the cross of Calvary 2,000 years ago and he reigns and he rules and he has commissioned us in Matthew 28, 18 through 22 to baptize nations, not simply individuals, and then disciple them to bring all areas of culture into submission to Him. But through the, the, because the church has failed at this, and pastors have had not had the backbone to speak out against the rebellious state, evil men have usurped God's authority, and the state has become God walking on earth, tightening the ropes of tyranny around us. Jesus Christ is God, not the state. And until we live like that is the truth without compromise and strive to make his law the blueprint for all of life, including the civil realm, we will never have true freedom in this life. Christians can no longer have their hands out to the state asking for cradle-to-grave security. That is not the civil government's God-given responsibility. God gave that responsibility to us as individuals families and churches, and we must be vigilant in what God has called us to do as his children. 
It is because we have bowed the knee to and are worshiping the usurper that our liberties are being stripped away. We must boldly stand upon the rock of Jesus Christ and proclaim Him as King alone over every area of life. And then, beloved, we must live in such a way that we show to the world that He truly is the ruling and reigning King over all of creation. We are called. We are called to be conquering warriors for our King Jesus. We can no longer stand aside as if he is neutral in regards to politics and cultural relevancy. Your weapon warriors, more powerful than any other is the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God. Know it and then wield it against the gates of hell for God promises that as we do, those gates will come tumbling down. Thank you very much. The Lord bless you.